I uh, worked in uh, healthcare administration. Worked at uh, two hospitals, a local psychiatric hospital, at least they told me I worked there. Did that for 15 years and then decided that uh, you only go around once and I wasn't having the fun that I thought I should be having, so it's time to go do what, what I enjoy most and that's flying. It's, uh, it's an unusual occupation, no doubt about that. Bring it on in. Step right over onto that tank and right on in. The okay. children gave it. They gave us this ride for our 55th anniversary. He's side me for our six months anniversary. <laughs> six months of being together. All right, Ben Thompson correctly. We've had quite a few uh, proposals aboard. Um, we've had uh, weddings aboard. Uh, they're all, uh, we've had, you know, the thing I like flying most are people who've never been off the ground in anything. I found a way to combine the two things that fascinated me the most as a child, fire and flying, so I guess, I guess I'm basically a romantic pyromaniac. How could you not like this? Even people who are fearful of heights uh, seem to become relaxed in the, in the basket. The reality is, is that it's very calm and serene, and about five minutes you get over the fact that you're flying in a laundry basket and the views and the scenery, and it's just, it's just magnificent. Every time you fly, you're an ambassador for the sport. And we get, you know, families and people saying, oh, we just love seeing the balloon fly over. Souvenir leaf opportunity approaching here. <laughs> Anybody can get them from the ground, but they're always freshest right at the top of the tree. I think it's been likened to, uh, this is the way people fly in their dreams. So Randy, I want you to go out and buy a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is shadow bomb them. I'm going to pull the shadow right across them. Give them a total eclipse. Shadow bombing. And I think we got them. <laughs> Life's good. Visibility is every bit of 45, 50 miles. One of the things I used to do with first dates was take them flying. If they weren't interested in going or they didn't like it afterwards, there was no sense in having a second date. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> it's not unusual to carry on conversations with people on the ground. I hope we didn't disturb you tonight. How are you all tonight? Good, hope we didn't disturb you. I don't think anyone who's had a balloon experience wouldn't admit that it was something quite unique and different that changed the way they looked at the world. Are you looking at a landing opportunity somewhere around here? I may uh, take the big farm just beyond it here. Uh, we have blanket permission. Oh, that's a wild trip. Wow all the way. You're just floating along and just looking down and seeing this great earth. Wow. It's, a, it's, it's an experience. It's beautiful. <laughs> kind of a weird feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It was. Especially going over the treetops. That made me a little nervous. <laughs> when we would hit them. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, I'm ready to celebrate 56. Go up again. The sun has blessed you with its warmth. The winds have welcomed you with softness. You have flown so high and so well that you've been joined in laughter and set gently back into the loving arms of Mother Earth. So may your skies always be blue, your winds fair, and your landing soft. Cheers. Wow.